Mm -hmm. So, babe, how was my church service today? What did you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want me to talk? Uh -uh. Now we win now. <laughs> <laughs> Your pastor is shallow. No depth. Mm -hmm. In short, every of his teaching was heresy. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know the word. Mm -hmm. hmm. Thank God I brought you. I knew it. I just knew it. That was the reason why I was like, ah, come to my church, come to my church, come to my church. I wanted to be sure that I was actually receiving the actual word of God. Hmm. You are, you are, you are, you, all, of, all of you are babes. Hmm. Babes. Your pastor is a babe. <laughs> He's a nepios yeah. in the word. I'm telling you. As he was teaching, I was correcting everything. <laughs> I trust you now. <laughs> I knew it. But Babel, now that you do not like my church, and you, you don't go to church, you don't have a church, what church will we be going to when we get married? <laughs> Honey, that's a very serious question, though. Because as I'm talking to you, in the old Nigeria, mm. I have not seen the pastor that can pastor me. Yeah. They are all nephews. <laughs> Eh? No pastor can pastor me. Are you serious? I'm telling you. <laughs> Maybe because of the peculiarity of my calling. Mm. Because God has called me to correct the body of Christ. Mm. Errors is everywhere. Mm. That's why I'm on Facebook, internet, teaching the word, correcting men of God. But like this now. So where are we going to get married when we're ready to get married? <laughs> I don't know yet. To... <laughs> Don't worry, that is not the priority yet. She understands. Okay. We need to go deeper in mm. the world. There are deeper realms. Glory, <laughs> glory, glory. I have not seen, no. Mm. I'm still repeating it. I have not seen the pastor that can pastor me. Mm. Hey, mm. My assignment is called to teach pastors Hallelujah. and to teach the body of Hallelujah. Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory, glory, <laughs> glory. Please, let's get something to it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Ma. <laughs> if you see the guy that I just met, this guy knows the word of God. Mm. You know when the Bible says the word of God becomes life? That is him. <laughs> <laughs> all these ones, all these pastors will be talking many, many, many things. When my man sits me down to teach the word of God, I am hit with immediate rep. Hey, no pastor in the whole of Nigeria knows Bible more than my man. Really? Yes, ma. Really? <laughs> he corrects all of them. All the pastors in Nigeria, none of them can stand against him. Even the body of Christ, he's that deep. He has, he has gotten to a level that no other pastor has gotten to. Ma. <laughs> he doesn't believe in Titan. He doesn't believe in sewing. He doesn't believe in communion. He doesn't believe in speaking in tongues. He doesn't believe in discipleship. What is discipleship? He does not believe in long prayers. Why? What are we pressing for? He does not believe in the Trinity. And most importantly, he does not believe in spiritual fatherhood. Wonderful. This my man. <laughs> I cannot explain how I met him, but he's got sense. Jesus. God sent. The things that I know now, I did not know them before. But since I started dating him, my eyes are open. Yes, ma. <laughs> As I'm speaking to you now, I don't go to church again. Because my pastor doesn't know anything. Jesus. He's the one that is leading me. He's my head. He's not just leading me, leading me in the home. Spiritually, he's leading me. That man knows so much. Man, bless. I am blessed. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm so blessed. Ah! Wonderful. <laughs> listen, listen, calm down. Listen. Yes, I know that you're obviously in love. Love that is obviously blind. <laughs> listen. This is red flag. I mean, a man that does not have anyone he's following, he's not teachable. A man who takes you out of your church community, he doesn't have anyone that can talk to him. If you get married to him and you have problems, who is going to talk to him? This is a red flag. Ma, calm down. You don't understand what I am saying. This guy has depth. <laughs> have you experienced depth? He would give you that experience. You've not experienced it. That's why you're talking like this. Live deep depth, deep revelation. A guy who takes you out of your church community, 
keeps you isolated from every other person, such a guy will kill you. Who is going to talk to him when you have problems? This guy is obviously not teachable. And a man that cannot be taught, even you can't teach him. So which church are you going to be attending when you both get married? Ma, in the whole of Nigeria, there's no pastor that can pastor him. No pastor. We'll just be at home. I'll be reading his articles on Facebook and, and the videos that he, he has. That's enough. He's too deep, ma. <laughs> He's too deep. No, no pastor in this Nigeria. No pastor. What, what, what are all this? You still watch porn? You still follow women? Still sleeping around like a dog? What, 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 is, what is your problem? Penny is all right. There's a depth you have not gotten to in the realm of the spirit. That's why you're having issues with all these things. What's wrong with you? Let me teach you the word. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 4. Apostle Paul was teaching. He was caught up in paradise. And there he had inexpressible things, things his mouth cannot tell. Those are deep revelations. I have heard it. I have seen it. Only adultery is not a sin. That is the new revelation. <laughs> Apostle Paul could not say it. The Bible, the same Bible says that adultery is a sin. Even in the New Testament. Apostle, that, that's what I'm saying now. Apostle Paul was writing to a church. You know, he, he was teaching them what they want to hear. But the real revelation, the death from heaven, is that adultery is not a sin. What is porn? These things are not sin. As long as I'm watching it, I'm not feeling anything. I'm okay. God has forgiven me past, present, and future. God is not angry with me. There is nothing I will do now that will make me go to a fire. What is this? These are deep remorse. Oni, you need to rise to my level. I've told you before. Rise to my level. I don't want your level. I don't want your level. Honey, stop crying now. <laughs> eh? Please, please. Oh God, I'm praying for you that you enter this death too. Eh? You need to be operating my dimensions. You are possessed. There's, there is a, there are legions in you. It is the devil that is working through you. The devil, the <laughs> devil is the anything. one that is at work. You I know something. It is you that does not know anything. It is you, you don't that anything. doesn't know anything. What kind of nonsense is this? What kind of rubbish is this? Even the Bible, what kind of Bible are you reading? Even the Bible <laughs> says we'll be hated by our loved ones. I'm not expecting less. Ma, I know that the last time I came to talk to you, I had a lot to say about my husband. But I think I have much more to say now. I do not understand this revelation anymore. What revelation? I don't understand. I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand this depth anymore, ma. What depth? Okay. It is that adultery is not a sin. Now he goes around sleeping with different women and then he tells me that there is nothing wrong with it. That the, the, his depth in the word of God that he has found in the word of God does not see anything wrong with it. So many atrocities, Ma. He even says that God has forgiven him past, present, and future. Please, Ma. Yeah. Can you help me call him, Ma? Call him? Please, and talk to him. Have you for forgotten that before you got married to this guy? I asked you, I told you. I said, who does he talk to? A man that does not have anybody that can talk to him, such a man will destroy you. It's a red flag. I told you. So now I can't talk to him. And remember, you said he has debts. So what debts do I have to give to someone who already has debts? Ma, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Just hold on. Let's be, let's be, let's be logical, yeah. If I call him to come now, will he come? That's the problem. He will not. How will I not talk to him if he doesn't come? You see the problem, eh? Ladies, learn to listen. This is why I will always say it. Marry someone who is submitted to spiritual authority. Someone who is teachable. Somebody who is accountable. Now look at it. Look at you. Nobody can talk to him. I can't even call him to talk to him because he will not respond. Ah, oh, goodness. Oh, in love, in love. Look.
look at it now. He isolated you from everybody just to mess up your life. And see it. <laughs> Hey family, family thank, thank you, you for, for watching, watching our, our video. video. Yeah, do well to subscribe on our YouTube channel, Facebook, and Instagram at The Windows for more videos. Yeah, you want to make a donation or you want to support our ministry, the account details are on the screen. Yeah, thank you so much. God, God bless, bless you. you. Bye. Bye.